to Laker Art. This is Laker seventh grade art, and we are working on how to create atmospheric perspective using oil pastel sea serpent. And today we are going to do the portion that we call how to paint hues and tints on your sea serpent. And what that means is, is that we are going to go one step further and we are going to add in the area that is here, the area that is here, and the area that is here. And then we're going to add in the horizon line and do that as well. So it is a busy day and we are going to get started. You will need your oil pastels, which should be available to you. Uh, you will also need a paper towel. And if you have a brush, I recommend a brush. All right, before we get started, just going to go over that this square right here is what we call the hue on our value chart. This is the hue. It's the color straight up. Uh, it's high intensity. I'm going to make tint one and tint two. Oops, backwards. So I'm going to add white. Put down white pretty heavy. I'm going to add white over here. Do the same thing. Put it down nice and heavy. Then I'm going to take the green and I'm going to lightly go over, pressing firmly but not. And then I'm going to take my paper towel and I'm going to blend it with my hand. And then I'm going to take what I've got on my hand and I'm going to put it over here on that one. Then I'm going to add some more white to that one. And now I have my hue, my tint, and my second tint. And that's what we're going to be working with today. All right, here we go. Welcome back. I'm going to take my white. I'm going to make sure that it's clean by wiping it off on my... And I'm going to start by coloring in all my uh, plates. And as I color in those plates, I'm using white and I'm putting down a thick layer. All right, so I'm also going to put white down on the front of my head, the front of my ear here, and then I'm going to bring white and I'm going to put it on this side and keep going. Okay, now I've added white to my plates here, to the front here, all along here, to the plates here, and then along there. Now I'm going to take my hue straight up and I'm going to put my hue right along the edge of my plates and even a little bit in. I did this a little differently because this drawing is just a little differently than the first one that I did. So just to show you, I'm adding this hue straight up and it's going in the nooks and crannies. And I'm going to do the same as I progress further along. I've also noticed that on my dark shadows, I have one layer of red that I have to eliminate. So I'm going to cover that with my green as I go along. And I'm going to do that throughout and recover that red with some green. And as you can see, I've gone and I've pretty much covered everything that had red exposed earlier. And now I'm just finishing up right along the edge here. All right, so now I've got all the red covered, and for the most part, I have green showing through, and it looks really dark. So now uh, the next step is to blend. So I'm going to take a paper towel, wrap it around my finger, and now I'm going to start to blend my light green in. So it goes like that. As you can see, I blended it along there, and now I'm going to go to blend it here. All right, you can see that I've got those blended in. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put white over my area that is my horizon line. I did two thick layers of white. Now I'm going to add green, and it's going to reduce the intensity of my green. I'm going to go over my reduced intensity of my green with my white again, 